Hello everyone, it's Jessica Wilkinson, your Young Adult Services Librarian, and for this week's teen book talk, I'm going to discuss some of the traveling books that we have in the teen area. The first book is Nine Days and Nine Nights by Katie Kotungo. Molly Barlow isn't that girl anymore. A business major at her college in Boston, she's reinvented herself after everything that went down a year ago, after all the people she hurt and the family she tore apart. Slowly, life is getting back to normal. Molly has just said I love you to her new boyfriend, Ian, and they are off on a romantic European vacation together, starting with scenic London. But there on a tube platform, the past catches up with her in the form of Gabe, her ex, traveling on his own parallel vacation with new girlfriend Sadie. After comparing itineraries, Ian ends up extending an invitation for Gabe and Sadie to join them on the next leg of their trip to Ireland. Sadie, who's dying to go there, jumps at the prospect, and Molly and Gabe can't bring themselves to tell the truth about who they once were to each other to their new significant others. Now, Molly has to spend nine days and nine nights with the boy she once loved, the boy whose heart she shredded without Ian knowing. Will she make it through as new improved Molly, or will everything that happened between her and Gabe come rushing back? The next book is One Great Lie by Deb Coletti. When Charlotte wins a scholarship to a writing workshop in Venice with the charismatic and brilliant Luca Bruni, it's a dream come true. Writing is her passion. She loves Bruni's books, and going to that romantic and magical sinking city gives her the chance to solve a long-time family mystery about the Venetian poet deep in their lineage, Isabella de Angelo, who just might be the real author of a very famous poem. Bruni's villa on the eerie island of La Calamita is extravagant, lush beyond belief, and the other students are both inspiring and intimidating. Venice itself is beautiful, charming, and seductive, but so is Luca Bruni. As his behavior becomes increasingly unnerving, and as Charlotte begins to unearth the long lost work of Isabella, with the help of sweet, smart Italian Dante, other things begin to rise too. Secrets about the past and secrets about the present. As the events of the summer build to a shattering climax, Charlotte will be forced to confront some dark truths about the history of powerful men and about the determination of creative girls. The last book I'm going to talk about today is My Heart Underwater by Laurel Flores Fantuazo. After Corazon's mother catches her kissing her older female teacher, Corazon is sent to the Philippines to live with a half-brother she barely knows. There she learns more about loss and love than she could have ever imagined. Corazon Tagubio is an outcast at her Catholic school. She's attending on scholarship. She keeps to herself, and her crush on her teacher, Miss Holden, doesn't help anything. At home, Corey's less than perfect grades disappoint her mom and dad, who are already working overtime to support her distant brother in the Philippines. When an accident leaves her dad comatose, Corey feels like Miss Holden is the only person who really sees her. But when a crush turns into something more and the secret gets out, Corey is sent to live with her half-brother. She's not prepared to face a stranger in an unfamiliar place, but she begins to discover how the country that shaped her past might also change her future. These are just three of the great travel books that can be found in the teen area, so be sure to come on in and check them out. Thank you.